Okay, I'm combining all of this into one video because what I have to say isn't enough to make a whole video for each of them all by themselves. Meanwhile, you can watch me totally suck at some Sega games. Let's do this. First topic, Batwoman, I mean Batwoman, premiered on the CW. The TV ads painted it as this ultra-woke progressive show, but what we got was mostly broke. Batwoman, I mean Batwoman, was like bad, bad fiction. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> I know fan fiction. As CW shows go, it was meh, I mean meh, not terrible. I mean, it, it wasn't horrible, but it was just... Meh. If you want a better Batwoman, damn it, I mean Batwoman, then stick with the DC animated universe. Now that's a badass Batwoman. Hey, I finally said it right. <laughs> oh, speaking of, uh, speaking of wokeness in DC, and I'm not talking about Washington, DC, the Joker movie came out. And the sky isn't falling. How about that? No shootings? No white male uh, incels going on killing sprees? Hmm? Anybody? You know what did happen? Joaquin Phoenix delivered an incredible Oscar-worthy performance as a man descending into madness to become one of DC's most infamous villains. In a lot of ways, the movie is also a commentary on society and how we treat people with mental illness and just, in a way, society was responsible for the Joker's creation. It's pretty fascinating. If you haven't seen the movie, you should really go see it. Meanwhile, over in the world of video games, where there can't possibly be any drama, Steps on how to data mine the game Elite Dangerous were leaked on Reddit, because FDev has been actively trying to hide things. Now, what people found sparked some theories that FDev is working on something big for the paid expansion coming in 2020. That's late 2020. That's right, we're not going to be getting anything until then, except for something in December. More on that in a bit. References to Thargoid capital ships? building construction, and various types of landing gear were discovered. That's landing gear with wheels and flotation devices. Water landings could be getting atmospheric flight, maybe. Hopefully. Well, whether we're getting a major revamp of the game or not is still unknown. FDev isn't talking, and they're still trying to fix the raging dumpster fire that was the September update. We're getting fleet carriers in December. How that pans out will be the litmus test. Are they really serious about fixing and improving the game or not? I'll be covering the update, so we'll see if it will be a big disaster come December. Hopefully, the quote-unquote big update coming late next year will be worth the wait. We'll see. Last topic, I promise. We're finally getting Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC. That announcement was uh, made a few days ago. The game is coming to Steam, but not before... Not before Stadia gets it first? Like, what the hell? We missed out on the first game, but at least we're... At least we're getting the sequel. I mean, at least we're getting that. We haven't had a really good Old West game on PC in a long time, and no, that MMO doesn't count. Before I go, I'll be streaming Destiny 2 on Saturday. Also, October 30th and 31st on Gamers Bay, I'll be doing a live stream for Scaretober, our Scaretober event, Devil's Night and Halloween, so be sure to check that out. I've also got more virtual reality content planned in the future for Resort Central. So, look forward to that too. I've been Mike DeZorch. Thanks for watching Zort Central. I'll see you guys next time. Some Zort Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at Zort Central colon E.